Bring back your reminder, J.J. McCarthy. J.J. McCarthy. Now, you play with a lot of good quarterbacks. We can get into that in just a minute, but you talk about the 11th overall pick of a national championship winning team. J.J. McCarthy comes in after Kirk Cousins is now in Atlanta. What have you seen from the boy? Yeah, he's been incredible. Has he? Yeah, I mean, well. (laughs) Fuck you. (laughs) He seems like a worker. Yeah, he's a worker. He is. He's he's grinding in the film room. He's grinding in the classroom. Like, he's a baller on the field, obviously. But, like, to have a guy, like, especially a rookie, you know, when you come into a facility and to the league, like, you, you, usually need to shut your mouth and like go to work and that that's exactly what he did like he's earned the respect of a lot of guys in there um obviously we have sam darnold too who is a baller and is can can play the game at a really high level so it'll be interesting what happens with the lot with those two um but i'm excited that jj's on our team and on our squad i mean like i said he's he's a leader um he did that in michigan and you know i'm sure It'll carry over to the league just as well. Before the draft happened, were you pretty bummed that Kirk went to Atlanta? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I love Kirk. I mean, just a, a great dude, but you can't fault a guy. I mean, you can only play this game for so long. And mm-hmm. so, you know, you may as well make the most of it as, as, as you know, that, that he's done. I mean, he's made a lot of money in this league. And so you can't fault him at all. And obviously that's where Julie, his wife, is from. And so they, they have their roots down there and they have family down there and um yeah i mean i wish nothing but the best for kirk i mean just a list guy like just such a good dude top notch Um, cat yeah like i mean he he still texts me like hey how you doing what's going on you know like hey can you you have any plays that you know like like that we ran last year that would be good that you remember you know stuff like that he just keeps in touch and so um you gotta love that from a guy you know because it's not at the end of the day it's not just you were a teammate, you know, you were a friend. And mm-hmm. so that's that's pretty sweet from him. Mm-hmm. You've got to play with some awesome quarterbacks, as Taylor was saying. How would you, if you did tear him out? Who's your oh, tier that's, that's aggressive. Who's um, your, who's your, well, you play with great quarterbacks. Let's, so let's say, set the standard, great would, quarterbacks. Uh, yeah, 100%. They're, they're all fantastic quarterbacks. I mean, like, um, coming into the league, you know, and having Stafford, like, that was huge for me because Stafford was a guy that was, like, just – get open like i'll throw it to you you know and so like that kind of let me be free my first couple years in the league like okay all i gotta do is beat this guy in front of me and i don't really have to worry about much and staff will put it where i need to um and so that was uh, a a real stepping stone in like where i've been able to get into the league um and then going from staff to jg you know jg is is like he's all about ball so like he knows like where you need to be at this certain time like when you need to be there like at what depth and that kind of stuff so that kind of taught me like the analytical part of it like why i need to be there based on coverages and like okay you know the league's gotten from you know a lot of man to three match to zone to you know like cover two and and being able to you know ben johnson was the oc and um and he was my tight ends coach for a few years in detroit and so like he taught me a lot of that and then like he when he became the oc he was he let me like read coverages and like you know hey we have a a pressure right now but like if it's cover two let's just hook on the inside of the numbers because that's where the void's at you know so um i think that was huge for like another stepping stone like actually learning defenses and understanding like what's going on rather than like hey just get open which was awesome like i love that mm-hmm. don't get me wrong you know and then going from that to kirk was you know it was kind of like a mix honestly because um kirk was like hey i don't care how you get there but like get there in this timing you know because like i'm playing off my back foot at this point so just get open at that time you know and that was huge and kind of taught me a lot of like the quarterback's progression like okay hey i'm on the backside, i'm running a basic route but you know they say it's at 12 but really i can push this to 14 give them a little sauce at the top and be there for when kirk needs me you know and you're you know you're running a pressure okay hey you're my first read so if you don't get all the way to 10 not a big deal like hit it at eight and we'll be we'll move the sticks you know so like that was huge and just learning the quarterback position a little bit, you know, and, and understanding what they're doing in the backfield. Like they're going from here to here to here. And that was, that was, that was a nice thing for me to like kind of learn. And so 
um yeah now to have jj and and sam like those guys those guys i mean obviously they're kind of learning their own and like figuring it out um sam's obviously been in the league for a while but like jj to have him out there and like you know he's he's trying to figure it out and like that it'll be it's cool because like you can talk to him about different things and like hey like what would you like here and he's like well i don't know let's try it you know and so then you you go out there and you try it and he's like i like that or i didn't like that you know like, like that'll be cool to kind of be able to have that communication with a guy like that that's young so mm -hmm. um yeah i mean i would i've played with a lot of really good quarterbacks and um each one of them have been different which is cool how different is that for you having the quarterbacks with all they understand what they already like and what they know to now being in the position you are where you're like kind of teaching more than you are learning yeah i mean it's it's definitely you know it, like i say it was really good because each quarterback that i've been with is obviously at the top of the league like mm -hmm. and then they have each have their own different little like thing and like what they like and so for me to be in the position i'm in right now with a young quarterback coming in and um you can talk to him about like hey this is what staff liked hey this is what kirk liked this is what jg liked you know and so um and he i'm sure he can take pieces from all that you know because and having a head coach who was a quarterback yeah and and ko is incredible i mean like ko is one of the one of the best like people like head like he just knows what's going on in football and like he understands the game so well and he's really good at you know, you, you get around coaches that understand the game really well, but then they can't, they're not as good at teaching it. And KO is like really, really good at being communicative and like teaching you like why this is and like why you do that. And and that's, that's, that's hard to come by. Cause you know, I mean, everybody in the league knows the game, mm -hmm. but like mm -hmm. to be able to communicate how they know the game and like where they see it and how they see it, that's different. And so, to have him in that room with, um, you know, with JJ and is, is going to be a lot of fun for him. And it's, it's huge. And to have KO around us, like he comes in our room with Ange and, um, you know, sits down and, and then he'll come out and he'll talk to us and on the field, we're running routes. He'll be like, Hey, keep this more vertical because of this coverage or like, Hey, keep this, you know, you can spin out of this a little quicker because of that, you know, like you're the first read, you're the second read, you're the third read, you're the last read, you know, that that kind of stuff. So it's um, it's definitely, you know, the like my knowledge of the game has has grown a lot just because of the people I've been around and um, the people in Minnesota are incredible. Uh, ben Johnson was somebody who was in kind of like the, you know, people wanting him to be their head coach. Do you see him being a, a, a yeah, I mean, he can day. do like Ben can do whatever he wants to do. I mean, he's one of those people that if he puts his mind to something like he'll he'll do it. And he is, a, is again, another one of those people that like is really good at teaching the game and breaks it down into simplicity. Like he'll like I, I can't, you know, I mean, like my rookie year, like I had a tight ends coach who, you know, wasn't the, the best in the world, but like Ben and I would go and like sit down and watch film and he was the quality control guy at the mm -hmm. time you know so we would go to another room we would sit down watch film and he would break down like hey here's travis's film this is why he does this this is why he's so good here's george's film this is why he does this this is why he's so good and then like being able to pull that and do all, like and understanding releases and like he'd break down you know different um route trees and like each part of the route you know and so that was huge i mean ben's one of the best people i mean like i said i, I talked to ben a lot um he 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 can easily be a head coach in this league and you know he's a he's a guy that people like to play for so yeah